Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simone. I'm an Italian professional photo videographer. And in this video, which is actually the second episode, I'm going to edit your photos. So on Instagram, I've asked you to send me your photos and I was floated by submission. So in this second episode, I'm going to edit five more photos of yours. Oh, by the way, I have a small announcement to make. From now onwards, I'm going to launch the hashtag Sferro21, which is exactly as my username on TikTok and Instagram. And every week, I'm going to review your photos, leave a like, comment, and maybe share your photos in my stories tagging you and also reviewing them here on YouTube at the end of some videos. So make sure to use the hashtag Sferro21 whenever you're posting something on Instagram. All right, without further ado, now let's jump right into the first photo. In this first photo, I'm going to crop it for the Instagram format. So I'm going to choose four by five and then I'm going to rotate it vertical. There you go. Then I'm going to place it in this position, maybe make it a little bit smaller. So we keep her on the center. There you go. We smashed it. OK. And then I'm going to probably apply the preset pitch black, which is the one that I use every time that I take black background photos. But I want to play around with the tint because I think it's a little bit too magenta. So we place it like here. There you go. And then we are probably going to move towards the yellow to have a very warm color in her skin, which I really like. Then I'm going to decrease the clarity and go negative five. Lastly, I actually want to create an S curve. So we're going to drag down the shadows, but then create another point right here and we bring it up. There you go. Now it's a little bit too yellow, actually. So I'm just going to drag the temperature towards the blue. So we give it more natural skin color. There you go. We got the before and after. One more thing that I want to do is actually creating a radio filter here in her eyes and try to give it a little bit more luminance. So we're going to create a filter here. Then we increase the exposure the clarity and also the sharpness. Then we're going to take this one and we're going to duplicate it and put it also in the other eye. Just like so. We click done and there you go. We got the before and after. Lastly, what I want to do, I want to open it in Photoshop. And then once here, I'm just going to correct a little bit of imperfection in her skin. But honestly, it's going to be very easy because her skin is already amazing. There you go. Next, I would like to darken a little bit this area because I think it's too bright. So we're going to use the burn tool and target the midtones and go around yeah, this area. So it doesn't come off too bright and it doesn't remove the attention from actually the face, which is always our subject. Then to finish this photo, I would like to actually add a shadow and maybe we can use the shadow number 11 from my Epic Overlays pack and I'll leave you the link down below in the description if you want to check them out. And then we're just going to rotate it just like so and then place it here right on the corner and this is the before and after thank you very much nikonify for sending over this one really amazing then in the next photo by after i'm gonna probably use a different preset and i'm probably gonna use dreamy bryce because he creates that kind of sunset effect there you go oh by the way i'm gonna leave a link down below in the description with a 50 percent discount exclusively for you if you're watching this video so don't spread the word too much for my presets with a master curl included. All right, so in this photo, I'm just going to increase the clarity a tiny bit. Then always I'm going to crop it four by five for Instagram. So I'm going to put it vertical. There you go. Then decrease it even more. Keep the castle inside the photo and maybe like this. So we cut the cars as well. And then I'm probably going to play around with the temperature. So in this case, I'm going to go towards the blue. Let's say like this. Then I'm going to create a filter and try to darken this area even more. There you go. And then I'm going to create another filter that is touching also the sky and I'm going to move the temperature towards the blue. So in this way, we create more contrast in the photo. And I think I'm pretty happy with the result, but maybe we can try to also add another filter in the sky and try to increase that dehaze just a tiny bit like so. And then we're going to open the photo in Photoshop because I actually want to add a fake sky coming from the left of the photo. So in this case, I go in my epic overlays pack, then I'm going light and raise and I'm going to use light number four. So we just drag it into the photo. Then we make it as big as we want. I would say like so. Then we're going to change the blending mode into screen and boom, look at this flare effect. I love it. Eventually you can go with common J to duplicate this layer. One, 
two. I think it's too much, so I'm just probably gonna use a single light because I like it that is very soft. Eventually, we could go around and remove all these people and these distractions. Then once we are done, this is the before and after. Thank you, Apfer, for sending over this photo. Next one is an amazing shot of a car running into a circuit by Prince underscore Usain7. Thank you for sending it over. In this case, I want to see if there is any preset that works well with this one. And I'm going to use Cart Variant. And I'm also going to add a graduated filter just right here to darken this part so the car is standing out even more. And then I'm also going to add another visual filter here on top of the car. Then using the new Lightroom function, I'm going to add a color range. So in this case, I'm just going to pick the orange of the car. There you go. And from here, I can increase the exposure, giving it a little bit more light just to that orange. There you go. We got the before and after, and it's looking much better already. Then in this case, I want to crop the photo and give it an Instagram format. So we're going to use the 4x5 and place the car actually on top of the grid. So like so. There we got the before and after I'm pretty happy with the result maybe we can give a little bit more light to the car so we're gonna use a brush and then we're gonna paint on this part of the car and we're gonna increase the exposure there you go look it's coming up like crazy I love it and there you go we got the before and after super stoked with this shot thank you for sending it over Prince Hussein 7 next one we have another portrait really stunning images I love the reflection of her in the mirror and these lights in the back because they create amazing depth this photo is from Mandy Gonzalez thank you very much for sending it so the first thing we are always gonna crop it for the Instagram format so we're gonna use it like so then maybe decrease it even more so we're gonna have her face in the middle of the top right intersection of the grid there you go then we're gonna probably use still actually the same preset as before pitch black because the colors really really work out in this photo then I'm gonna use a radio filter to decrease actually the luminance in this part of the image because it's a little bit too bright so we're gonna decrease the exposure and we're gonna decrease the highlight like so and also decrease the saturation in this area there you go and now we have created a little bit more contrast within this part of the image which looks a little bit more blue and this part of the image which is a little bit more yellow then we're gonna do the same thing as we did before with her eyes so we're gonna create a radio filter and then we're gonna increase the brightness there you go the clarity and also the sharpness nice then we're gonna duplicate this one and put it in the other eye there you go decrease the filter and nicely done but maybe in this case we can also create actually a curve so we're gonna increase the highlights a little bit here and maybe decrease a tiny bit the shadows boom look how much her face is popping up from this photo maybe we can just decrease a tiny bit the highlights because I don't want to burn her face then next thing we are gonna edit this photo in Photoshop even in this case we're just gonna fix a little bit her face so I'm gonna speed up the process here All right, and there you go. And also I'm gonna use the Retouch Pro panel to smoothen her skin even a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the Easy function and then staying on the mask with the brush, we're gonna select the white color and we're gonna paint on top of her face. I'm using now opacity 33% just because I don't want to go too hard as her face doesn't look that bad. All right, and once you're done, I'm just gonna decrease the opacity of this mask. I don't want it to affect you too much. I'm gonna leave it at 30%. For very little change, but trust me, it makes a difference. Maybe we can put it at 38%. There you go. Then I want to also use the hair and answer from the Retouch Pro panel. By the way, I'm going to leave the link in the description for this panel. If you want to check it out, very cheap, but super useful. Even in this case, I'm just going to paint white here, the opacity 100% on her hair. And there you go. We got the before and after for her hair. The last thing that I want to do is actually adding another shadow from my Epic Overlays pack. So in this case, maybe I want to use, let's see, maybe the shadow number six. Let's see if that works. I think it's cool. There you go. Then we're just going to reflect it 
horizontally that's it and there you go i'm pretty happy with the result this is the before and after thank you mandy gonzalez and then we have this photo from xan underscore ravex thank you very much for sending it over i actually love it i can see it as a magazine cover so in this case i'm always gonna crop it in for instagram so i'm gonna put it like this then maybe crop it even more so we have her in the center and i'm gonna start with adjustments so i'm gonna increase the contrast let's see play around with the temperature and even in this case i'm gonna use a radio filter to create more yellowish here and then at the same time we're gonna create more bluish here in the windows so we have the contrast between the yellow and the blue here next i'm gonna play around with the highlights so we increase a tiny bit decrease the exposure maybe increase the white a tiny bit and decrease the black then I'm gonna decrease the clarity and the texture as well to give it a little bit more brimy effect but increase the vibrance then I'm gonna create an S curve here in the main tone curve there you go and removing pure pitch blacks from the photo and give it more of a gray vibe there you go then i'm gonna also create an s curve in the tone curves of red green and blue there you go we got the before and after i think looks great for now and then we're gonna create another radio filter on her face because i think it's slightly too bright so we're gonna decrease a tiny bit the highlights there you go and i'm also gonna decrease the overall exposure of the photo but then create another radio filter just on the subject and increase in this case the exposure so we give her a little bit more light there you go maybe we can also use a brush to give her more light on this area because it's darker than the other part probably because the sun was covered by some sort of shadows so we're going to increase the exposure here there you go and also increase the shadows that's nice and i think now standing out pretty well we got the before and after now maybe we can go down and check the hsl color i want to move the hue towards the teal a tiny bit and the saturate there you go then we can also play around with the luminance and maybe increase a little bit the blues then we go in the yellows remove saturation from the yellows and move it towards the orange a tiny bit maybe in this case because it's coming from this way and this is the brighter area then we can also increase the luminance here that's nice one more thing that we can do eventually is create a soft light coming from this way to do this we're going to use another radio filter then create a big 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 filter right here and increase the exposure and also the temperature and i think there you go now one last change that i want to do is that i want to try to actually select a subject using a new function in lightroom so we're going to go and create new mask and then we go in select subject now we wait until Lightroom finishes the project and this is the final result we got a perfect selection of our subject but what i want to do is actually invert the selection so everything selected but the subject and i want to try to decrease the exposure to make the subject stand out even more and look what a difference this is absolutely incredible we got the before and after maybe this is a little bit too much so we put it just like this and eventually i can also go in the mask that i created before on the subject and try to expand into this area of her foot because it was a little bit too dark so now we have it a little bit more even and we click done once we are happy with the result and this is the before and after thank you very much xant underscore ravex for sending over this photo all right and this was the last photo of this series thank you so much everyone for sending over your photos we're going to open again the submission very soon so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload a new video if you haven't watched it yet i'll leave you up here the first episode of this series thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one ciao